The year was 1962, and the World Cup had brought football fever to the shores of Chile. Among the many anticipated matches, Chile's face-off against Italy was supposed to be a thrilling clash of talent and strategy. Instead, it became a chapter in football history known for its unprecedented violence and controversy, earning the name the Battle of Santiago. The Santiago National Stadium was filled to the brim with eager fans, the air thick with anticipation. The whistle blew, and the match began. From the outset, tensions were palpable. The Chilean players, fueled by national pride and a sense of territorial defense, were aggressive from the first kick. It wasn't long before the game devolved into a series of physical confrontations. Early in the match, an Italian forward, Graziano, found himself on the receiving end of a rough tackle from a Chilean defender. The referee, rather than taking control, hesitated. This moment of indecision seemed to give both teams a tacit license to abandon sportsmanship. What followed was not football but a brawl. Players shoved, kicked, and punched each other with the referee, often appearing reluctant to issue penalties. The crowd's initial excitement turned into a chaotic roar as the violence escalated on the pitch. Italian captain, Giorgio Farini, was sent off for retaliating against a Chilean player's elbow jab. He refused to leave the field, causing further commotion. The police were brought in to escort him out, adding to the spectacle of madness. Fights erupted and subsided across the field, and the beautiful game was reduced to a grim display of animosity and physicality. A groundbreaking moment occurred when Chile's Lionel Sanchez punched Italian Mario David in the face, an offense that inexplicably went unpunished. In retaliation, David later kicked Sanchez, leading to his expulsion from the match. The referee's inconsistent and lenient decisions only fanned the flames of chaos. As the minutes dragged on, it became clear that the match had spiraled out of control. The referee had lost all authority, and the game was anything but a sport. Eventually, fearing for the player's safety and the integrity of the tournament, the referee made the unprecedented decision to abandon the match. The Battle of Santiago stands as a stark reminder of how quickly the spirit of competition can be overshadowed by violence and poor officiating. It is a historical event that is discussed not for the goals scored or the skills displayed, but for the darkness it brought to the world of sports.